And then there's the mother load, Ian Rappaport. Let's get to it right here, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. The mother load quarterback story isn't Aaron Rodgers, believe it or not. It just isn't, even though he might get paid $50 million, he could wind up in Denver or whatever happens with the Packers. It's TB12, sir. It's TB12. Why? Yeah. What's with the door? What's the door still open? Like he goes on Fred Couples' podcast just as we get to, to Indianapolis. You know, talking about Fred that he's going to get through a little more vacation did not time. See that, coming. that he's he's sleeping in his old bed, you know, in his old house. And when he gets through all that, then he'll he'll see where he's at, right? And and then Bruce Arians is it, it just you know, even though I think that would probably be a a, a Glazer family decision if Brady says I want out, I want to come back, but not with you. Or maybe he comes back with them. What is what is going on with Tom Brady right now? What do you think? Well. Um, there's two things that are going on. Okay. First of all, I would assume it sounds like <laughs> this is like so dumb, but this is the way somebody who knows Brady very well described it to me. I guess Brady walks around with a jug of water all the time, mm-hmm. right, to make sure that he's fully hydrated. Sure. And I made the joke to someone who knows him very well and has known him forever. Like, oh, I guess we can retire the jug. And this person looked at me like I was crazy and was like, oh, no, he's still got the jug. Like, he's still in shape. He's still eating well. He's still doing the TB12 method or whatever, and he's still keeping himself hydrated in case. He's still doing all the things that he would do in case he wanted to return. Um, I, I don't know if he's going to come back. I know it is at least possible, and I don't know where the level of possible is, but it is at least possible. I also know that Larry Fitzgerald still has not retired, and even last year when it became clear that he was not going to play for the Arizona Cardinals, he still was like, yeah, we'll see. I'm not retired. Um, you know, uh, all of that. So, like, it's like these guys want to keep the door open. Hmm. You know, and maybe he's doing some of that, too. For what purpose? I, I mean, like, they announce he's 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 uh, running lines with Jane Fonda one second, and then the next minute he's got the jug of water and his avocado ice cream and – you know, and and he's still he's still sticking with the plan. Look, I, I didn't expect him to just suddenly just, you know, go get a bag of jelly beans and just veg out on the couch. But this sounds like he wants to still play. I'll be very honest with you. This is this is definitely somebody who sounds like he still wants to play. And Arians, his responses when asked about, you know, <laughs> about know. the possibility of letting him go play elsewhere. That I mean, you could see that really. God, I pissed him off. Like, you could see that. You could see I, that. I appreciate Bruce Arian Me too. so much. Right. Because it would be annoying if you, you know, you go all in, you get Brady, you win the Super Bowl, and then if he wants to play somewhere else, like, for BA to be like, no, you should play for us or no. Now, I will say this. I've seen all the rumors um, and the kind of reporting on Brady wanting to be in San Francisco, and I've seen, you know, Mike Florio has had some of that. I have not personally corroborated any of that. Now, maybe my sources are not as good. I just, I've had no one tell me that he actually wants to play for San Fran. Well, what um, about Tampa, though? I mean, because clearly we, we, their, their quarterback decision may be just, well, we got Gabbard. He knows the system. It's entirely possible that they might shock everybody and go back to Jameis, which, you know, would kind of be a, a bit of a surprise. But what if they just maintain the status quo and not suddenly it's June? Could. You know, and then and then we we give Tom a call and say, "What do you think?" You know. Yeah, I mean, they it would not be the first big time quarterback to decide right around June to start a training camp. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play. Um, the other thing is, you know, I would expect them to be looking around and taking a big swing elsewhere anyway, like Deshaun Watson. You know, if I don't think Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson said on the Today Show that he wants to play in the West Coast, so it sounds like no Russ, but. You know, I would think they would take a swing at Deshaun Watson if his legal situation clears up. So I would kind of keep an eye on that as well. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.